How to cut tree limbs with a pole saw. In this video, I'll give you step-by-step -step assistance on how to cut tree limbs with a pole saw. 1. Clear out the work area. The area where you'll be standing for cutting tree limbs must be clear of people or any property that could potentially get damaged. If you're working in a public space, you should consider barricading and securing the area to keep others from getting close. 2. Plan where to cut. Before putting your pole saw to work, you must plan out where exactly you will be cutting. Don't start cutting anything yet, take a step back, examine the tree, and then consider the branches to cut. 3. Always start with the lower branches. When you're planning the cuts, you will eventually have to figure out how to access the higher branches, which is possible only after you get rid of the lower branches and limbs. Removing the lower limbs will help you get a clear path, while also ensuring that you are able to safely make your way up to the higher regions. 4. Be in the correct position. The correct position to use a pole saw would be to stand towards the side of the branch and not below it. Being in this position will minimize your chances of injury in case a piece of wood falls out of the tree. Further, you'll need to be sure that you hold the end of your pole saw at chest level and keep it at an angle when cutting. 5. Adjust the pole length to the right height. Once you're in the right position, it is time to adjust the pole saw to the appropriate length. Adjust the length and then stretch out the pole saw such that the blade reaches the lowest branch when you're holding the pole saw at chest level. 6. Start cutting the branches. Your first few cutting strokes must be slow and controlled. Cutting the branches at full speed could result in the blade slipping out and make the entire cutting process harder. It would be smart to create a groove in the wood. For creating grooves in the branch, you must cut slowly at first. Tap the throttle or push it in lightly, as it'll help you create the initial groove in the wood. When making these cuts, you should be careful as the pole saw could move sideways, especially if the branch is sloped. 7. Finish the cut. Once you have created a groove and the saw is secure, you can gradually increase your stroke speed. As the cuts go deeper, keep an eye out on the branch. Although you might be standing towards the side, the wood can still fall in unpredictable ways.